Hello, how do you solve this exponential problem? t power t power 7 equals 7. We are going to solve this using two different methods. Now, we are going to consider the first method. And in this first method, what we are going to do will be to raise each part of this equation to the power of 7 because we have 7 here already. I will have t power t power 7 raised to the power of 7. And this equals 7 power 7. Now I can consider this identity. a to the power of n raised to the power of n equals a to the power of n raised to the power of n. So the t power 7 here will represent my n. This will represent my m. And I'm going to switch the powers using this. So, the m will come inside the bracket while the n will go outside. Remember, the t here will remain constant. Of t, this one here, the m comes inside the bracket to the power of 7. And this goes outside, which is t power 7. And this equals 7 power 7. Now, t power 7, t power 7, 7 power 7. If you have a power a equals b power b, then a equals b. So t power 7 to t power 7 equals 7 power 7. That means t power 7 equals 7. I can then solve for t by eliminating the 7. So I have t power 7 raised to the power 1 over 7 in order to eliminate the 7. I'll do the same thing here again. Then I multiply this exponent. That means I'm going to have t power 7 over 7 equals 7 power 1 over 7. And 7 over 7 here is 1. So this means t to the power of 1 equals 7 power 1 over 7. And t to the power of 1 is t of t equals 7 power 1 over 7. This is one way of solving it. And we can express this as if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. And this equals the n root of a. So applying that here, we are going to have the 7 root of 7 as our answer. Now let's also solve this using the logarithm method. t power t power 7 equals 7. I start by saying let x equals t power 7. So this, I'm going to represent it with x. Of t power x equals 7. So I can then apply natural log to both sides. Natural log of t power x equals natural log of 7. And from logarithm property, we have natural log of a power b. This equals b times natural log of a. So this is x times natural log of t equals natural log of 7. Now, I can express this in terms of x. Let's get back to this equation. We have x equals t power 7. What then is t? So that means t power 7 equals x. I need to isolate t. I have t power 7 raised to the power of 1 over 7 equals x power 1 over 7. Multiplying this out, we have 7 cancel 7. That means t equals x power 1 over 7. Right? So I come over here. 
I replace this T with x power 1 over 7. So I have x times natural log of 0 of 18 T. I have x power 1 over 7 equals natural log of 7. Now remember, natural log of a power p equals p times natural log of a. So this comes behind this. I have 1 over 7 times x times natural log of x equals natural log of 7. Multiply this out. This is x over 7. ln of x equals ln of 7. Now what I can do, I can multiply this by 7. I multiply this by 7. 7 times this will give us 7x divided by 7 times natural log of x equals 7 times this. We have 7 times ln of 7. So let's cancel this. As x times ln of x equals 7 times ln of 7. So by comparison, x l, ln x 7 ln 7, that means x equals 7. So recall what is our x? t equals x power 1 over 7, right? We are solving for t. t equals x power 1 over 7, meaning t equals our x7, 7, 7 power 1 over 7. And this is just like having the 7 root of 7, just like what we did earlier on. Remember this identity, which gave us this answer. So guys, that is it. Our answers are the same. The 7 root of 7. Now, what we can do will be to check by inserting this value for t. t equals 7 power 1 over 7 or 7 root of 7. And this is t power t power 7 equals 7. This is my t. So I have 7 power 1 over 7. Where is the proc 7 power 1 over 7? Where is the proc 7? Equals 7. A power n. Where is the proc n equals a power n times n. Multiplying this out. 7 times 1 over 7 is 7 over 7. That is 1. So what I'm going to have will be 7 power 1 over 7 raised to the power of 7 because this will comes with this equals 7 and go back to the same identity and multiply this out of 7 power 7 over 7 equals 7 and this is 1 of 7 equals 7 So this shows that our solution is obviously very correct, guys. So that is it. That is it. Thank you and goodbye.